Hey, what's up, Michael here. So 3D printing has been around for a minute now, but it's something I've never personally gotten into. I have friends that enjoy it as a hobby, but whenever I've played around with these machines, I just don't really know what I'm doing. So I was really interested when Kokoni reached out and sent me this, their upcoming AI powered 3D printer, which is supposed to be the next generation, easy to use, no fuss, no training or prior knowledge needed machine. So we'll get to the AI features a little later, but just to get this out of the way, this machine is a prototype, so it's a little rough around the edges, literally. But very soon, this will be released on Kickstarter, and I'll put all that info in the description down below. And Kokoni also sent me their previous flagship model, the EC1, which is an extremely cute and highly rated home 3D printer, a lot different to the machine standing next to it. Now compared to a lot of other industrial boxy type printers I've seen, this one actually looks quite sleek. It has an elegant round finish with a closed case design, utilizing a curved sliding door that can close off the printer completely to minimize noise. So if you're printing something overnight or just nearby in your office or workspace, you can keep the sound to a minimum. And if you are using certain materials to print and you have kids at home, there is also a carbon filter to stop any unpleasant smells. So out of the box, it takes under two minutes to set up. There is no installation required, no special parts you have to build or set up. You just grab the power brick, plug it into the port, and it'll power up. It also auto calibrates. You don't have to do anything yourself. All you have to do is connect to power. The internal sensors can also automatically detect malfunctions during the printing process, making the whole procedure easier for customers who might not be sure how to manually recalibrate. And while it's setting itself up, you can go ahead and open the Kokoni 3D app and connect the printer to your Wi-Fi. And that's it, you are ready to print right away. Even the PLA filament is already preloaded inside. You don't have to fiddle around with anything, it is literally plug and play. So there's also no need to download or learn any special software on the computer, or even connect your computer to the printer at all if you don't want to. Everything can happen right from the app, which is really simple to use, but also has a ton of cool features. Diving into the app, you get a preview of the 3D model library, where you can choose pre-built models of anything you can imagine. There are hundreds of options here, from toys and construction models. Here we have the model of the US Capitol building, which is pretty cool, or chess pieces like this castle as well as cartoon characters, animals, and my personal favorite, useful gadgets like an SD card holder. You just click and you're taken into the editing suite where you can view the object and adjust its diameters and color. Or you could just ignore all of that and click print. Select your printer and it'll start printing. So it actually uses an inverted printing method. Most 3D printers will print upright, but the Kokoni Sota will print essentially upside down, starting with the base first and working its way up or down. It also has a transparent plate, so you'll be able to view the print as it goes on, which is pretty cool. It can also print really fast compared to a lot of other printers available on the market and three times faster than its little brother, the EC1. Now the prototype that I have here is a two color model, but when this is released in the near future, you'll be able to configure this with an extra filament tower to achieve up to seven different colors. And here is the final SD card holder, along with some others that I printed today, and I'm pretty happy with that. Lovely. But the most impressive thing is the AI powered intelligent modeling, which allows you to create almost instant 3D models just by using your camera and the Kokoni 3D app. All you need to do is click create and select the 3D avatar option. So I can then take a quick selfie against a white background, confirm, and then the software will start to create a 3D model based on a five tier AI algorithm. It says it will take three minutes, but actually it's done in under one. And here in the editing suite, we have a shoulder up model of myself. And from just one selfie that I took a few seconds ago, 
I think that's really impressive. So from there, we can go ahead and make any adjustments or customizations we want and then hit start print. And while it's printing, take a look here at the difference in sound when printing with the door open and printing with it shut. So here I am in all my glory and I'm having serious thoughts of upgrading this to a Greek bust of myself, which is totally normal. Now as well as the selfie mode, we also have object scanning, again from within the app. Now this particular feature is still in beta, so there are a few kinks to work out, but essentially you use the main camera to take multiple pictures from different angles to create a detailed scan and the app will guide you around to make sure you've covered all the collection points. Now currently it's only using the back camera, but in the future, the iPhone and iPads at least, will be able to take advantage of the LiDAR scanner for even more detail. And perhaps in a future video, we can get into that a bit more. Now on top of the AI facial avatar, the object scanning, and the vast preloaded library, you can of course import your own designs and other schematics that you've sourced from the internet into the system and get a print that way. So in terms of usability, the Kokani really impressed me with how user-friendly it was. I didn't have to know anything about 3D printing before I used it. I didn't have to physically install anything. I didn't have to calibrate it or even import any of my own designs into the system itself. I literally got it out the box, turned it on, connected it to Wi-Fi and sent it stuff to print. But then there's still room for me to learn and import my own designs if I choose to do that in the future. So a really cool piece of kit if you're a newbie like me or someone with more experience who wants to take advantage of all this awesome tech. So I'll put a link to the Kickstarter page down below so you can find out more. And if you found this video interesting or want to see more content like this in the future, then drop a comment down below and let me know. Give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.